This is a video about how to plot the transfer function of a digital filter in the z-plane. So I'm starting out with the analog filter, which I'm defining uh, as uh, h of h sub a is the transfer function. And I've looked this up online. This is the analog transfer function. And I'm uh, getting the digital filter by defining a new function h sub d is equal to h sub a, and I replace s with z minus 1 over z plus 1, which is the bilinear transform. Often uh, you see the bilinear transform written with another term out here to handle the sampling rate, but um, usually I don't do it that way, so in this case I'm also not doing it that way. Um, so I do this and I get a very messy transfer function. Um, depending on what software you use to do this, you might come out with something different, or you might get the transfer function from some other uh, method. For example, you might have a filter cookbook like the Robert Bristow Johnson filter cookbook, or uh, there's a book uh, by an author named Rusty Allred, I think it's called Digital Filters for Everyone, and that's also an excellent resource if you're looking for uh, cookbook formulas to get filters done quickly in the digital domain. Anyway, um, so if you're, if you're converting from analog and you have this problem, one thing that I found I can do in Mathematica is just multiply by one, um, but split one up into <coughs> this format, and I multiply that next to the filter transfer function, and then I come out with this, which is much more usable. So this method would work on any filter transfer function, but I just wanted to show these steps about how we got the transfer function. And I, <coughs> I can make the continuous plots just by calling uh, the plot function in Mathematica is a function that does continuous plots. And I'm calling the um, backup so you can see it. So I'm calling this, this function here. And my input argument is the, uh, the number e uh, raised to the power of complex number i multiplied by omega, which is my frequency in radians. I take the absolute value of that plot it and that gives me the magnitude, or I take the complex argument and that gives me the phase. If you don't remember what complex argument is, go look it up on Google. There's a formula for it. And uh, if your plotting software doesn't have it, you can look up the formula. So that is, uh, that is the, the way that I do magnitude and phase plot in Mathematica. Now, many of you will not have continuous uh, plotting functions, so you'll need to do it in a discrete format. Here's an example of doing it discreetly in Mathematica. So a table just creates an array, a list of values. I'm uh, allowing the frequency omega to vary between 0 and 3 in increments of 0 0.1. Uh, since I'm doing this as a digital filter, it'd be nice to have this be pi, actually. Um, so I'll, I'll have that. Uh, the Nyquist frequency of a digital filter is always pi radians, so I'll recompute a little bit. Good. Um, so I create this table of values and take the, again, take the absolute value and the complex argument and that gives me magnitude and phase. Now if you, um, if you're in uh, C or C++, you, you won't have these kind of fancy mathematics, uh, uh, mathematical tools to do this kind of thing, but there there's a formula you can use. Um, I won't show it right now, but if you use Euler's formula and you have a, a little library that just does addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division of complex numbers, you will be able to um, to do this even in in software that doesn't have uh, advanced mathematical functions on complex numbers. Um, so I'm not going to talk about that, but you can look it up online and then you'll, you'll have it. Just so I can move it up. Good. The last thing I want to say is uh, often you want to plot the magnitude in decibel scale. So here's the formula to convert from linear scale gain into decibel scale gain. Um, and right now I'm doing linear scale, so if I just take this function put it here. You will see I now have decibel scale gain. 
So that is the end of our short video about how to plot the transfer function of digital filters.